Varakali. In our springboard project, how to use Varakali? Till now, we were using in memory H2 database. Till now, we were using in memory H2 database. First time, we want to use Varakali database. Any of your project, in any of your project, you can start using by changing database from H2 to Oracle, from H2 to any other database, you don't require to modify the code, only modifying om.xml and the properties file. Whenever you are changing the database, whenever you are changing the database, you don't require to modify your entity classes, repository classes, controller classes, no need of doing any changes in the entity classes, repository interfaces, services, controllers. You need to modify only two files. You need to modify only two files. Those are <coughs> pom.xml for the dependencies purpose and the properties file to specify Oracle specific configuration. Oracle specific like a what is the URL, what is the username, what is the password. So right from the hibernate onwards, this is the one of the very important feature. <coughs> Whenever you are changing the database, you don't require to change the project to code. Please observe. One of the biggest advantage of the hibernate while it is released, while it was released. So maybe in the <coughs> 2004 and 2005, it was one of the biggest to hibernate release into the industry. Everybody were trying to use hibernate because of whenever database is changing, you don't require to modify your source code. Generally, database make changes based on the client the client, maybe his uh, financial condition and his business. Let us consider, initially he thought like, let me buy the Oracle, let me use the Oracle. He's using Oracle. After three years, he didn't expect, sorry, he didn't get to whatever he expected. He wanted to change to the low price databases. He has to go for MySQL. So earlier, before Hypernet, it was very tedious. It was like a redeveloping entire project in most of the places. Not like an entire project in most of the places. A lot of places needs to modify. But through Hypernet, it became very simple. Hypernet only using in the data JPA. Please observe. In the data JPA, we are using Hypernet. Sorry, we are not using Hypernet. Data JPA internally using Hypernet. So go to the any project. I am just using that project. First and foremost one, go to the pom.xml, everybody. In the pom.xml, you can comment H2 database dependency. This I have commented. You can see the comment symbols in the XML file. Comment symbols in the XML file.
After commenting this dependency, everybody add this dependency. It is for vertical driver class. To use the vertical, to use the vertical, we require this vertical driver class. Vertical driver. It's simple only you can able to type. Everybody try typing exactly as it is. You can also copy from the internet. But there is no chance of typo errors. A simple one. This dependency project containing, this dependency project containing vertical driver class to interact with the vertical database. This dependency project OJDBC8 artifact ID is a OJDBC8. It is containing a driver class to interact with the vertical database. Now, in our project, H2 database will not be available. We commented the dependency whichever we were using for H2. The second one, come to the application.properties. The previous three lines you can comment. You can keep these money. You can check it out. So in this, your Oracle password, you need to change your Oracle password. Whatever password you have given to the Oracle, username reminds the system. Username reminds the system, password only changing. Username reminds the system, password only changing. So you don't require to bother much on these properties. So actually, if you are practicing some JDBC, 
then spring jdbc spring orm lot of other technologies we totally bypassed so actually after sql we supposed to learn jdbc afterwards spring jdbc afterwards spring orm afterwards data jpa this is what like a cycle but to study all those things it will take minimum 4 months so instead of those things we totally bypassed straight away we reached to the data jpa this is the url where your oracle database is running while configuring oracle developer sorry sql developer while configuring sql developer save this 1521 and xc we have considered i don't know how many people remembered in the sql developer we specified port number of oracle server and the sid that is database xc then <clears throat> username to interact with the oracle password whichever password you specified while installing oracle then this is a data jpa related property <clears throat> ddl hyphen auto so please observe if table not there it creates the table if table already available it uses the table for our entities for our entities for our entities for our entities if table is required it creates if table is already available with the same name it will be reusing that is what ddl auto example this anyhow we have seen earlier itself this i also don't know what is that format is clear so it may be looking for formatting hibernate to sql that you don't require to work the last one specifies what is the database we are using dialect specifies database type in the hibernate there are several dialect classes one dialect class used for one database purpose one dialect class used for one database purpose so here several dialect classes are there through dialect class we are specifying what is the database we are going to use what is the database we are going to use through dialect class through dialect class what is the database the database is specifying through dialect class for every database different dialect classes are there for every database different dialect classes database we can specify through dialect class so this is the configuration now start the oracle server if at all it is not started just to verify we use the oracle long back just to check it out put the services one more thing this configuration working fine for 11g i had a lot of research i found these are the parameters while changing the database you require to change the dialect class sorry while changing the oracle version there may be a chance of changing few fields you need to identify which fields you have to change please observe this fields a configuration this property is combination working fine for oracle 11g in my system oracle 11g is there if at all in your system if there is a 21c there may be a chance of not working i am not very sure if at all not working just to check it out in the internet try modifying some properties then definitely it will be working please check it out oracle service xc and oracle listener these two should be under running if not running try run 
varical cervix xc and even lisner also varical cervix xc and lisner lisner also should be running <laughs> if at all it is not running it can run So how many of you using 11G? Okay. Varical service XCA and varical TNS listener. Sorry. In my system, I already ran the same. Let me remove this table. Now, <clears throat> in the dot project, in the application class, we implemented command line runner. So just to check it out in the application class, whether command line runner implemented or not. While starting the application itself, command line runner will execute and it will be inserting one record. If this code is not there, try implementing in your project. If you are not using TORT, if you are using other project, then you can just develop one entity class. Just to develop one entity class, <coughs> This is the entity class. One day we developed from morning to evening the most of the features of Todd project. That is what? One entity. If you are using any other project, you don't worry. Develop one entity, one repository, one service. You know very well about defining entity, repository, and service. Entity, repository, and service. In the service, you can just develop a save method. In the service, you can develop just to save method. You can see in my system. Repository, a simple interface. repository 
simple interface then go to the <coughs> service there is no uh, service in the service method sorry in the service class two methods we develop This is the controller. Everything is done. Start your application. Everybody, put the application class. Try running from the application class. Automatically, it will insert one record. Control F in home. In my system already application was running.
I stopped the application. I ran once again. Maybe this SQL format, while displaying the SQL, it is formatting into multiple lines. That could be the SQL format, whichever we mentioned in the properties file. In the properties file, you can see SQL format is a true. Formatting the SQL in the console. That's okay. Now check in the SQL developer. Open SQL developer. You can see the table. This is the table we are using in the dot project. So click the data. This data we are inserting through command line runner. This data we are inserting through command line runner. Same data we can load. There is a get mapping also. Let me show the get mapping. Get mapping is a just a website. Nine zero nine zero. Slash website. So here sequence value is a 52, sequence ID in the database, 52. I hard to code it as a one in the program instead of get by ID, go for find all. Iterable. I'm reading all the records earlier. We were reading hard to code it one. Now try reading all in the website service. It is double. Now come to the controller class. Mm -hmm. 
Let me remove the table. I'll read them once again. Let us stop the server. Now, check in the database, refresh the database. Click on data, data inserted. Now click on load method, data is loading. It's a completely we implemented Oracle in the dot application. Yesterday we developed one simple wire based project let us implement the Oracle in the yesterday's wire based project. I think it's a demo 2 2. Everybody? See if at all any errors are there in the current project, leave that one. Error? Error. So leave that one and try reconfiguring in the yesterday's project. Definitely it will be passing. <laughs> In the yesterday's project, go to the POM.xml, everybody. Inside a POM.xml, it was only Spring Web dependency. No data JPA, no H2 database. Oh, no data JPA is there, it's only Spring Web. First add the data JPA, then add the variable. No need of removing H2. Why? Because we didn't consider H2. Yesterday's our project was a simple Spring Web only. We were focusing more on developing a var file. For that purpose, I choose only Spring Web. Now you can go to previous project either TOT or any other project. I'll go to the TOT only. Data JPA is required and even Oracle also required. Just to copy data JPA first. Copy data JPA first. Copy data JPA. Keep the data JPA. So come back to the dot, copy the oracle,
These two changes, then come to the properties file. Inside a properties file, everybody copy this. Put the demo project to properties file. Copy this data. So please ensure you are a username, password, all are proper. <clears throat> In this project, no entity is available. Let us develop one simple entity. I'll choose the entity name as a person. Attribute entity. So we don't have a loan book here. You need to develop setters and getters explicitly. We don't have a Lombo. Define setters and getters. Simple entity class with the two fields. At the rate ID. Define repository interface. I'll just choose the same package. In the same package, Repository interface, person repository. Implements. States. repository
I'm not developing a service layer directly controller. Define a controller class. Person controller. Utter it. Just a controller. Just a mapping. Person repository. Person repository. Adderate auto wired. Request body. Person repository dot save table of person. Percent repository dot all post to mapping <laughs> so now everything is done. But we didn't develop a command line runner. We mentioned post mapping. By using ARC or by using Angular client, we can post. I'll show first ARC. We will check it out with ARC. Then, if you wanted, you can implement in the Angular itself. So, complete development is got over. Let us run this project. So what is the port number we are using in this project? Okay. 9090. Let us see already if any server is running. The previous dot project was running. I stopped the same. Now try running the new project. Demo to to application. Control FN home. You can check it out in the SQL developer. Refresh the database. Oh. 
You can see the person with the two fields, ID and the first name. Let us open ARC to post. Let us open ARC to post person data from the ARC. Advanced address to client. This is the person. to the body by submitting only first name id will be getting automatically because of sequence you need to submit only first name only first name 9090 is a port number Person is a request mapping to the post. Click on send. In the bottom, you can see 200 OK. ID is a 1. First name is Ramu. Even check in the Oracle database. Click on date. One round. Now, H2 database is not using in the new demo 22 application let's go to the arc go for get mapping you can see 200 okay id is a one first name get mapping can be called from even browser address bar also let me do the same Now this new project <coughs> using Oracle, Oracle database, new project using Oracle database, come on. Now, everybody, let us develop a var file like yesterday. Deploy in the Tomcat XML server. Now, that var file will not be containing either Tomcat or H2 database. Yesterday, whatever var file we developed, that var file was containing H2 database. Now, this var file will not be Mining any H2 database. Let me show that one. If any errors are there, you can rectify later. So, yesterday itself, we mentioned build procedure in the pom.html. 
go to the POEM.xml. So we clearly mentioned like you should not consider it on tap. Now inside this project Tomcat is there while developing a var file it won't take the Tomcat. Inside this project H2 database is not there. Oracle database configuration only there. Oracle database is not there. H2 database is an in-memory database that will be a part of the project. Oracle, it is not a part of the project. Oracle database separately we installed. To connect to the Oracle database, whatever configuration is required, that configuration only available here. Now I'll making a bar file, that bar file containing our project code only, no Oracle database, only Oracle database configuration, not Tomcat. Tomcat is excluding and H2 database we are not using, we are connecting to the Oracle. To connect to the Oracle, whatever configuration required, that only we provided here. Is Sarnu, now. Right click on your project. Run as Maven install. Maven install We got the build success. Now take the D1 var file, D1 var file within the Tomcat server. D1 var file. Refresh your project. Go to the target. Project name we didn't change, it's a tart only. Just to go to the web.xml, we can rebuild once again. Sorry, pom.xml. In the pom.xml, demo 2 to pom.xml, let me go for demo 2 to only. Regenerate var name we have seen yesterday. Rebuild. <coughs> Now you will be getting a new var file, that var file not containing H2 database, that var file not containing even Tomcat. Take that var file, deploy in the Tomcat. Run 
refresh demo to to in the target you can see var file copy go to the tomcat to deploy in the tomcat 10 web apps folder we deployed var file in the tomcat server this is the external tomcat server start the external tomcat server so i am not finding tomcat server in the right bottom to get the tomcat server to the right bottom just to go for monitor tomcat click on yes now you can see right bottom start in the tomcat server in the tomcat server you need to mention application name also is absurd application name application name also so what we had to do go to the browser address bar So instead of person, you also should keep application name. What is the application name? Var file name. Tomcat server listening to nine zero nine one. Nine zero nine one demo two two slash person. Now we got from the Tomcat. This output is from the Tomcat. demo to to application if you wanted you can post one open erc for posting i'll go to body i'll post it see guys this is entirely a real time real time production information i don't know how many of you taken serious this information very valid very very important the entire procedure right from the scratch i showed to deploy now our project not using not using in memory h2 database it is using oracle database which is external and also our project doesn't have a tomcat our project containing only our project code less the spring libraries whatever we are using spring libraries those are there inside our project but our project doesn't have a tomcat to run our project tomcat is required external tomcat we installed same project we ran in the external tomcat so how many of you done completely today's content can you please raise your hands only two people only two hmm <laughs> so what could be the major problem for others oracle related password oracle password i'll hit you man very bad now while installing oracle i might have told 10 times choose very simple password which you can remember forever you have choose your uh, girlfriend name very bad now in every batch i am seeing this type of people that's the reason while installing oracle i used to tell in every batch 
choose the simple password simple password no problem reinstall that is only the possibility so there is a way of reach setting the password but we are not oracle administrators reinstall the oracle and other people any other problems okay so you are using different version right okay so just to check it out in the internet you can easily identify 